Hey there everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make brownie O's. I came up with this recipe because my wife loves brownies, but me personally, I needed the brownie game to be stepped up a little more for me. So I came up with this recipe and I really enjoy it and I believe any sweet lovers or sugarholics out there would definitely love this recipe too. First we're going to start by blending all the ingredients for our brownie mixture. All you're simply doing here is following all the directions on the box as far as blending the ingredients. Alright, once you got your brownies mixed, go ahead and set those aside. Now you're going to take your muffin pan and begin to grease it. Take your brownie mixture and pour it into your muffin pan, filling each one about three quarters of the way. Set the muffin pan aside when you've got that complete. Now what we're going to do is separate our Oreo cookies. What you want to do is just try to make sure and get the frosting on one side of the cookies, okay? The method that I use is I have some fishing line and all I did was wrap it around my fingers and then slid it underneath the top layer of the cookie. You can use any method you want to. If you're a great twister, go ahead and twist them, but I'm horrible at that. I usually end up leaving half of the cream on both sides of the cookies. It's not the end of the world if you leave cream on both sides of the cookies, but you'll definitely see here shortly why you want to get at least one side with the least amount of cream on it as possible. So we have our cookies separated. You can see we got the cream on one side and we got the ones with no cream on the other side. So taking your muffin pan with the brownie mixture in it and your side of the cookies that has the cream, you're going to go ahead and push the cookie down inside the brownie as you see me doing here. When you've got that all finished up, go ahead and place your brownies inside your preheated oven and let them cook for about 25 minutes. Alright, so while those brownies are cooking up, what we're going to do is we're going to take the other half of the Oreo cookies that doesn't have the cream on them and we're going to just begin to crush those up inside of a bowl. Alright, once you're finished crushing up your cookies, you're going to go ahead and set those aside and you're going to grab your jumbo marshmallows. Now using your kitchen scissors or knife or whatever, you want to go ahead and cut these in half. Don't sit there and laugh at my scissors. These are the only ones that I can find. And hey, they're getting the job done, alright? Alright, those brownies are starting to smell good. When you have about three to five minutes left to cook on them, go ahead and pull them out of the oven. Then you're going to take the half of those marshmallows and push those down inside the brownies. Be careful not to burn yourself here. Once you've completed that, go ahead and pop the brownies back in the oven and finish up baking them. Alright, alright, we are in the home stretch now. All you're going to do is take those crushed up cookies that we set aside and begin to add two to three cups of your whooped cream icing and stir it all together. Don't forget your brownies in the oven. It should be about time to take those out now. When your brownies have cooled down, go ahead and take your whipped cream icing with the Oreos mixed into it and put it inside your cake icing bag or do like I did here by placing it inside of a Ziploc bag and cutting the tip off. The reason I'm using a Ziploc bag here is because we didn't have any tips that were big enough to allow the little chunks of Oreos to flow through. It kept getting uh, stopped up, so I just figured I'll use a Ziploc bag with the tip cut off and it worked just as good. Now you're going to add the icing on top of each one of these brownies. Alright, these delicious bad boys are ready to go. If you have any additional Oreo cookies, you can go ahead and break them in half and then put them on top for additional decor. That's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys try this delicious recipe. These things have truly taken brownies to the next level and will meet the need of any sweet tooth. Thank you guys for watching. This is Joseph with The Explosive Videos. I'll see you on my next video.